Hello guys, I am Vincent Filion, as no as Subchak. Okay, so since I have posted uh, this video almost one year ago, I've had a lot, lot of requests uh, to make a Blender car rigging tutorial. I have started to work on it and I just finished the new model. Okay, let's jump to Blender and uh, we will discover together this new model. As you could see, it's a brick toy buggy model. Okay. Uh, it's uh, kindly um, simplest than the previous buggy, but we are going to find all the same main rigging function. Okay, let's go. We are going to discover together all this function and how to use this rig. Uh, first of all, let me show you how I have organized this model. I have made some mechanic logical collections. I think it's easier to work and uh, easier to understand this kind of uh, mechanic uh, model with this kind of logic. So let's dive on it. On this first collection, we are going to find all the transmission parts. After this, all the steering parts. Here, the probably most important uh, collection with two sub collection for front and rear parts, uh, rear suspension parts. Then, uh, four for collection uh, with part without movement. Okay. Uh, a collection for wheels and a collection, a collection for the rig itself. Here just uh, some some little uh, scene uh, parts. Okay, and the last uh, collection is a technical collection. Uh, you could find all the custom shape for the rig, and uh, that's all. Okay, so um, that's all for the organization of, uh, of the model. Uh, let's uh, dive into the rig itself. As you could see here, I have organized my rig with some layers. So let's dive on it. On this first layer here, you could find all the main controller, like the body or the root. On these two last layer here, you can find some bonds for automatic animation. I will explain it in detail later. Finally, on these six layers, you can find some technique bonds. You don't really care about it. Okay, let's uh, dive on the first layer and we will see together all these main controllers. So here, the, this first bone is the root bone. If you want to animate this buggy with a follow path constraint, you have to apply this constraint on this bone. After there is the body controller, you could move it on the z-axis and you could uh, rotate it in whole axis. If you want to animate it some uh, break or some uh, acceleration like uh, like this, uh, you have to animate this bone. Then we are going to find a drift controller. Okay, this controller. Uh, Allow, allow you to, to animate uh, some drift movement uh, by a easier way than with the root controller. Then the steering controller. Okay, and after that, uh, you have two last bond for manual. Um, for uh, how to say it for some uh, extra manual animation uh, for example if i take this one 
uh, it drives the, the wheel height uh, that allow you to to animate, uh, for example, a little bump, you know, okay, and the same for wheels. Okay, and uh, that's all for all these controls. Let's dive in detail in these two last layers. On this one, you can find four ground detection bones. I have applied a shrink wrap constraint and you just have to grab your ground mesh. Let me just one minute to do this and we are going to see what's happened. Oops, sorry, this is not this one, but ground, ground, and the last. Okay, I just have to grab my wood bone and see what happened. Okay, it worked. Yeah, so cool. And finally, to conclude this video, on this last layer, you can find four last bonds. All these bonds are intended to be used with drivers. You just have to grab them and add a driver on their hex axis. Later, with a follow pass constraint and this driver, you could automatically drive the wheel speeds depending on the movement of the car. I think I will make a special video for this function. And that's all. I hope you just have some fun with this buggy. Bye bye.